basic idea here is that you know we wanted to move to a, a view of logs that allowed you to get an integrated time sorted listing of your um, log entries from different containers in your pod so in particular you often want to see the proxy logs integrated with the app logs so in this case we have two containers inside the pod one is details which is going to be are going to be the log entries in white on black and then we've got the proxy logs which are going to be the gold on black and if you had multiple more containers um, it would list them out across the top here and you can then select if you want uh, by default you get all of the all of the containers but you could turn off particular containers or turn them on so if you want all the proxy logs you would do it that way and so forth um, I wanted to show you the details uh, pod just because you get a really nice integration um, but I'm also going to go back now and give us a, a short problem solving approach to things so if I'm looking at my graph and I say oh I've got problems um, from product page making requests to reviews so let me investigate that a little bit so I'm gonna drill into the product page v1 workload and go into my logs view here and again I have an integrated view but since there's a lot of logs you can see that the integration is a little bit more uh, chunky in this particular case which is fine I can also go to full screen to maximize so one of the things we really wanted to do was maximize the number of logs uh, log entries that you can get on screen at any given time and by going to full screen um, now you can really get, get quite a lot of log entries if you really want to maximize it you can now collapse the toolbar as well which would just take away that top line and give you just a bit more so I'm going to leave it in there for now this kebab is new um, it's got a few options to try to clean up the overall um, look and feel of the toolbar area so now we've kind of hide a few things over here and so I noticed that I had some problems there I want to just for now look at my um, app logs so I'm going to try and understand what's going on and I can see that I've got this repeating issue here where I'm issuing a get for reviews and I'm seeing a 556 which is of course a strange response code because it's manufactured by me in this case let me go back and see if I can learn anything about that um, looking at the proxy logs I'm going to just narrow my log entries to 556 entries and I can see now that I've got a bunch of access logs um, showing this return code for my reviews gets and we've got this new feature here now where I can actually hover um, oops. Is there a problem in full screen with that let me try that one more time oh there it is oh the full screen was covering it sorry I didn't know that that we learned something new in the demo um, so I, you can select let me go back and start that from the beginning you can select to open an access log by clicking on it and it's going to open up a modal and it's going to focus specifically on that envoy log entry and it's going to parse it out and break it down into all the particular fields that are actually inside this structured log message that you get from uh, envoy and give you all those particular details in this case I see that the response flags are filled in with this fi and if I don't know what that means I can now click on any of these fields and get a description of what's really going on there and in this case I can now see that fi is information it's a fault injection that's taking place and then if I want to I can link further to the envoy docs get even more detail on that 